Neil from Essex here to talk to you a little bit today about the latest out of the EPA in regards to engine emissions. Essex, a helping hand with your land. Wouldn't we have hoped that by now all the things regarding engine emissions would be kind of like finalized and locked in? Fortunately, they're not. Uh, it turns out here right about two years ago, the EPA issued a letter to engine manufacturers updating their stance on a particular issue. And the issue here at hand is engineering tolerances. You know, there are tiers here, horsepower tiers with engines, typically what we would say normally up to 26 horsepower, and then between 26 and 75 horsepower. The different requirements exist for engine emissions, right? When you go over 26, you have to pick up a diesel particulate filter because you start treating soot. When you go over 75, you have to pick up typically DEF fluid because you have to start treating NOx. Generally, when you look here at the engine manufacturers over the years, many of them have gone and kind of tuned their engines to sit just below that limit so that they can make an engine as capable as possible without exceeding that next tier requiring them to bolt on all the additional emissions hardware. And when you go through and you're working on any of this stuff, whether it's hydraulics or engines or whatever, there's a certain amount of engineering tolerances with these things, right? If you go through and you design a 25 horsepower engine, some of the engines rolling off the production line might make a little less horsepower. Some of those engines might make a little bit more horsepower. And previous to now, to January 1st of 2025, many of these engineering departments, when they're going through it, building these engines, were using that average number for their engine as where that engine was set in relation to the emissions requirements. Now, what the EPA has now come out and clarified with these engine manufacturers, actually clarified two years ago with an effective date here on January 1st, was that no longer could they use the average of that engine. They had to use the potential maximum of that engine. And their perspective was that these companies were sitting right at these limits, could have engines rolling off their production lines that are actually exceeding the EPA's horsepower and therefore should have this emissions equipment bolted onto it. So the average is not acceptable anymore. The maximum must be used. So what has that now led to? When we go through and we look at some of the tractors that are rolling into our dealership here after January 1st, we're starting to see some serial number breaks and some changes happening in the parts catalogs for some of these machines, where they're actually derating now some of these engines and bringing their horsepowers down a little bit. Some of you have actually come out and questioned with me where you've seen changes happening on companies' websites where a tractor used to be shown at one horsepower and that horsepower number has dropped. That is because that company is responding to this legislation and actually lowering the horsepower of that engine now. So there are machines out there that would have set right at this like 26 or 75 horsepower mark that the 2025 variant of that machine is gonna be a little bit less powerful than the ones that would have come before it. So what's the right way to respond to this? Uh, I Annoyance would be one. I mean, frankly, these guidelines have been around for over 20 years now, and why we're issuing bulletins of clarification at this point speaks to the way government works sometimes, doesn't it? <laughs> but when it comes to our machines, right, when we come down to the real world of this, in most cases, we're talking rounding errors, where these new variants of these tractors are to be coming out at fractions of a horsepower less than what the last one was. And when we go, we talk about horsepower in a tractor. You know, we've talked about before, when you look at a machine, you know, we, we are also wired to look at horsepower. I know the horsepower of the engine under my car hood, right? And, and that's a, an important number that a lot of people use in their shopping process. But when we look at tractors, what is really so much more important are things like torque and weight and hydraulic capacity and engineering prowess and quality and operator experience. And I would go through a whole long list of things that I think are really important when you're shopping for equipment and horsepower is gonna be nowhere near the top of that list, right? When we see uh, these companies offering so many models, right? When you go from one machine to the next and they're offered in every three to five horsepower as you work your way the whole way through a product line, uh, many times jumping from a tractor and picking up an extra three to five horsepower is hardly noticeable in operation. Uh, that's why most of the time when I tell people what horsepower to pick, if you've got a tractor today and you're moving to a new one, don't move for 
an extra 10, 20, 30 percent, right? Move for a really specific number because small differences in horsepower are almost impossible to detect in this seat. And I would say it's not worth going out and trying to seek out one of these early shipment models to potentially have that fraction of a horsepower more because in reality, you're probably never going to know that it's there. It's not going to be a detectable amount. So. Uh, frustrating because of the way this legislative stuff is placed upon industry and frustrating to see how things work sometimes but mechanically I don't see a whole lot of concern for a lot of you that have noticed this change it would not inform a purchase that I'm going to make so you're shopping for a piece of equipment and we can help or if you have parts and service needs for a machine you've already got give us a call at Messix we're available at 800-222-3373 or online at Messix.com to say our friends at the EPA, but I shouldn't call it nonsense. <laughs>